I think that we can all agree that when it comes to the stock market, we are sitting in unpredictable times. I mean, with the virus, the shutdown, the global economy, no one really knows exactly what's going to happen next, which begs the question, where should we be investing during these times? So I'm going to assume that we've got $1,000 to work with. And with this $1,000, in this video, we're going to be building up a portfolio that is prepared for these unpredictable times. I've got five key investment types that I want to invest in with this money. And let me show you exactly what they are. So I've been studying Warren Buffett for around seven or so years and the one message that he keeps on coming back to is over the long term, stocks are the asset to be in and USA is the country to buy these stocks in. Why does he say this? Well, first of all, it's obvious why he recommends the United States. USA is known as the greatest capitalistic country in the world and, well, let's just say... It's made a lot of people a lot of money when it comes to business. And he recommends buying stocks over other assets because over the long term, these are the assets along with real estate that make the most money. Uh, as you can see, it's USA stocks and USA real estate that has made the most money over the past 40 or so years. But Buffett does not recommend buying just any stock one of his tenants to invest in is you must buy stocks with a competitive advantage. What he's saying is don't just buy any type of business, buy the ones who are at the top of their game uh, with advantages over their competition. The likes of Apple, who's at the top of the phone and computer business. Um, that's the position that makes up Warren Buffett's largest holding. Or the likes of Coca-Cola, the most well-known soft drink brand in the world, another one of Buffett's holdings. Uh, these are the type of stocks that we need to be looking at right now. Because if you want security, if you want peace of mind with your portfolio, it helps when you own the best businesses in the world. So you've got $1,000 on you. You can certainly purchase a share of Apple to start your portfolio off. Um, Apple that's currently selling for $294 per share so it will make up just over a quarter percentage wise of your portfolio which is actually similar to the percentage Buffett has in his portfolio at Berkshire Hathaway. So that's a good start. Then you can go and purchase a couple of shares of let's say Coca-Cola which is selling for $46 per share. So let's just say you buy three shares of Coke that's $138 or 13.8% of your $1,000 portfolio. So now you've got a great start to invest in $1,000. You now own a couple of high quality companies, but you need to be more diversified. An asset that I think is a shame to miss out on owning is gold. Why? Because gold is known as a great hedge for your portfolio. For example, let's just say a big stock market crash occurs, your stocks obviously are going to go down. But if you own gold, it's likely that it will go up. Now, this is why Ray Dalio says, I believe it will be both risk reducing and return enhancing to consider adding gold to one's portfolio. And I'll show you the exact type of gold that both Dalio owns and I own. It's a gold ETF called the SPDR Gold Trust, which is designed to track the price of gold. And a lot of people's stocks went down in 2020. You all know why, but gold did not. As you can see, when the stock market crash started on the 18th of February, Stocks went down big, but GLD did not. It's actually gone up in value. That's why they call gold a stock market hedge. So GLD is currently selling for a price of pretty much $160 per share. So let's say you buy one share of GLD. That's $160 or 16% of your $1,000 portfolio. 
And generally speaking, you want around that 5 to 10% mark in gold with your portfolio. And that's what Dalio says anyway. But that's something you can build into once you earn more money. Let's move on though. Let's keep building up our portfolio with different quality assets. Okay, this might be a controversial pick for some people, but for me, it's an important one. You see, what we're experiencing now is an oversupply of oil in the world. The world currently does not require much oil because everyone's staying at home and not traveling currently. And yet, companies are still digging up oil and supplying it. What does this do to the price of oil in the short term? It dramatically drops, of course, because there's no demand for it. This means this creates an opportunity for us investors to swoop in, purchase some oil when it's cheap, short term, then wait for the economy to heat up, and then sell. It is a risky play because no one knows exactly what's going to happen to the price of oil in the short term, but there's a lot of potential gains to be made. Let's say, worst case scenario, you lose 100% of your investment, or Best case scenario, you gain a 300 or 400% return. Investing is all about risk and reward and balancing that correctly. And the smart investor buys when everyone else is panicking. As Buffett says, widespread fear is your friend as an investor because it serves up bargain purchases. So, how to invest in oil? One of the better options we have to go with is by investing in the same company that Warren Buffett did, which is Occidental. He said himself, buying into Occidental was his way of betting in oil. Now, although it is risky, as I'm sure many people in the comments are going to point out, but again, it's all about risk and reward. And I like the balance with this. Occidental is selling for $16.60 per share. So if you buy 10 of these, you've got $166 worth of this oil-based stock. The portfolio is starting to come together. The reason behind owning some cash in your portfolio is simple. Because if stocks crash, you have what is needed to purchase them when they are cheap. If you have no cash on you, you have no chance on buying bargain purchases. As Buffett says, cash combined with courage in a time of crisis is priceless. Uh, that's why I do want at least some percentage of this portfolio in cash. We're going to put $85 in, making up 8.5% of the portfolio. And, and by the way, when I'm talking cash, I'm talking either treasury bills, like Buffett, or cash earning interest in a bank. Not cash just sitting there earning nothing. Now this may be the very best way to invest during unpredictable times. Investing in stocks that pay you regular secure income every quarter. So for those who don't know, a dividend aristocrat is a group of stocks that have consecutively increased their dividend for 25 years or more. They're basically one of the safest forms of income stocks that money can buy. And the other great thing about dividend aristocrats is the data tells us that over the long term, they beat the market, they do this at less risk, and very importantly, they do a lot better than most stocks in market crashes. And just to top it off, during those crashes, they're still going to be paying you because they have a history of increasing dividends. It's hard to argue that these stocks are not the best option to go with for beginners. So I'm going to be including two dividend aristocrats to round up this $1,000 portfolio. The first stock is a company called Hormel Foods. It's trading for $47 per share and they're a great company to own in uncertain times because we're still going to be eating the likes of sausage, pork, chicken, beef, even in a recession. 
so it gives your portfolio nice exposure to the food sector, a reliable sector. And the final dividend aristocrat stock that I would like to add to this portfolio is a stock called Target. They're an American retail company that generally sells cheap products in store or online. Again, it's a company that even in unpredictable times, you can rely on it. People are still going to be buying discount products no matter what market we are in. And Target have been around since the 70s, so they've got a good history to them, especially dividend wise. So that's a $110 price tag to complete this well diversified portfolio. And obviously, if you're only working with $1,000, it is just the start to your investing journey. Although this portfolio is diversified nicely, as more money comes in, and if stocks do crash, you need to be buying more. You need to be diversifying the portfolio more, owning more great businesses, listening to Warren Buffett, what can you do in certain times. Then, you give your investments time And compound interest will do all the wealth growing for you as long as you buy quality businesses and diversify appropriately.